Hello everyone, welcome to another section. Today, like I said, we'll be talking about how to make another type of insecticide. This particular insecticide we are talking about is safer while people are in the environment. The initial one we made, you have to fleet it and wait for a minimum of 24 hours before you come back there, open up all the ventilative uh, opportunities, the windows, probably put on the fan, the AC, so that you know every of the chemicals can be blown out. Then thereafter, probably put perfume inside the room before you can come in after that time. But this particular one is going to be very mild, mild on humans, but it will still work perfectly on the insects, on crawling insects, mosquitoes, and the likes. So when we have children in our environment and we may not be able to stay for 24 hours like the other initial one, then this will be a perfect one. I'll be talking about two types. Here is my DDVP, here is my fragrance, here is my alcohol, and here is my camphor, industrial camphor. So we'll be using basically these components to produce this. Now, there are two types. One will be done with just the alcohol, then my fragrance as well as the industrial camphor. However, just to, me, to, to brace it up a little, I like to use the word garnish. To garnish it up a little, we can add our DDVP 20 mil. The initial one we did, we used 250 mil. That was a very concentrated one. However, this is 20 mil, just to garnish up whatever it is we are producing a little. So how do we go about this? We are supposed to open this up. We are supposed to, you know, I'll be using my alcohol, 500 mil. So I had poured in the old industrial camphor, even though it's looking as if we didn't add the industrial camphor, but the industrial camphor is there. Now, please take notes. We can decide to fill this in into this container, cover it this way, and use it this way. This alcohol and industrial camphor will kill mosquitoes. It will kill cockroach. It will kill crawling insects in your environment in us. However, there are different reasons why we add different things. If you are in the paint class, you understand some things we do in formulation and stuff like that. So some people don't want to spray in their insecticide and come back after to come and start putting fragrance. And that is why we'll be adding a bit of our fragrance. This is fragrance you can use any type. I've said this often. You can use lemon, you can use strawberry, you can use vanilla. If you have access to making choice, you can please make your choice to decide the, part, the particular one you'll be using. You can see now, I'm adding fragrance to this. I've just added 20 mil of my fragrance. Now, I said we can use it that way. Now that we have added fragrance to this alcohol, to this alcohol plus industrial camphor added with our fragrance, we can use it this way. So it will not have any offensive smell. We're not going to be smelling any alcohol. We're not going to be having any issue with the smell. The environment will be smelling nice. Despite that fact, the insects in that environment will be at war. However, for those of us that may just want to garnish the product a little, maybe you want to sell this to your customers out there, or your customers out there, and some people just have this attitude of probably doubting, and they are like, oh, without DDVP, your insecticide will not be complete. Yes, I got you covered. Here is just 20 mil of the DDVP. You'll be seeing some pictures of samples of DDVP on your screen as we speak. So you can use no pest, you can use DD4, there are several ones. Now we are going to be adding the DDVP into the solution. You can see? It's just a very simple method. However, please keep this out of the reach of children. As you can see, it's having a very clear look. As if there's nothing inside, as if this is just pure alcohol, as if this is not a mixture of something dangerous. But it has alcohol in it, it has fragrance in it, we also have our DDVP in it, and I would advise it has camphor, industrial camphor in it. So please let this be out of the reach of children. So what we are just going to do, don't forget we have the leftover here, is to cover this up and we are good to go. When you are about to use it, you just shake it very well and open up the sprayer. This sprayer has a way to control off 
spray spin if it, it is going to have a direct contact if you're about to spray it on something directly it's also going to spray if you want it to spray around an environment and you can also put it in off so you just spray it around and it will definitely kill everything crawling in that environment thank you for viewing this we're rounding up our 31 days training this is oh we're almost done with the 31 days training we have not posted a, a video before now for more than a week now because i was down now i'm back i'm trying to fulfill my promise and that is why i came up with this video thank you for viewing please share to your loved ones don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give this video a thumb up and see you in my next video bye